Hey there guys, Lightning Spirit 78 here. That was odd. Welcome back to more of Let's Play Twilight Princess. We have no time to lose because we have a lot to get done in this episode, hopefully, in one part. So, we are wondering where Russell went. Well, he went to the Sacred Grove in Farron Woods. So, let's meet him there. I know we were going to talk to Telma and all that, but I was thinking, and I really want to get this whole next segment that we have to do. Like, I kind of want to be on the front step of the temp- uh, the, the next temple in the next episode, so, yeah. Oh. Already we're wasting time. Yay! So let's make these 15 minutes really count. Uh, I will probably cut out what I don't need, so, yeah. Anyway, let's go to North Bear Woods. Haven't been there in a few parts, you know? Ever since the monkey ass incident, you know, back at Arbiter's. Boy, it seems... that actually doesn't seem that far away, and to be totally honest, it really wasn't. It was only like... oh... 20 parts ago, maybe? Perhaps? Yeah, around 20, I guess. Maybe even less, who knows? Considering all the postals have kind of taken care of themselves with the tungents. Oh, look, it's Russell! It has been a while since we took a walk in this forest, huh? Yes, and now our world has changed. Oh, you're kidding me. You're, you're telling me. Although, actually, nothing's really changed since we kind of got to the forest temple, so. But that's just me. Maybe I'm not seeing something. Say, do you know about the far side of this deep gorge? Some say that there's an ancient deep wood. That there's an ancient temple deep in the woods that guards the sacred power. The ancestors of the Hylians created the temple. Signs of their civilization ancient, but are, er, but are very sophisticated are everywhere. If someone could obtain the power of those ancient people. Well, I am sure it would go a long way forward, or er, a long way to saving Hyrule. Think. Would you take on this task? Blah, 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 cross the gorge. I knew you would. Cross the gorge, use my partner here. Oh, dude! How did you whistle for whatever bird you're calling with only your fingers? I have to use a blade of grass. Come on, teach me! Oh my god, it's a golden cuckoo. Hm. That would make some good KFC. Wow. That is awesome. It's gold! Uh, uh, I didn't want to talk to you. Can I get the... Can, can I... Can I... Can I... Just pick up the chicken. Thank you. Alright, with this chicken, we can fly across the gorge. Because last time we used Midna. However, since Russell's there, we can't transform. So, with this chicken, we shall do... Chicken-like things, yeah. Set the chicken down, because there's no wind. And these are Gale Boomerang. Yeah, blast in the past much. Eh, put it away. Ah, chicken, chicken. Don't worry about losing your chicken. It flies back to you if it falls off a cliff. Case in point. Watch. Goodbye. Watch it not come back or glitch out or something. Ah, let's see. Always faithful. Seriously, that's an epic cuckoo. It's a shiny Cuckoo! Does that mean Cuckoos are secretly Pokemon? Alright, uh... Let's transform into a wolf real quick. Just because it's Cuckoos is something funny. Remember, you can talk to animals as a... CHICKEN! No! Don't commit suicide, buddy! Twinkle, twinkle, little Cuckoo, I am gold enough for you- Oh. Screw you too. I, I'm tempted to throw it off a cliff, but we don't have time. Anyway, this leads us back to the Sacred Forest Grove. And now we can be a human here. I'll listen to this awesome music one last time. So let's hope nothing goes wrong this time. Hello. Hello? Oh, make sure to go in here as dead night. Oh, you! Yes, we have to deal with the Skull Kid again. And now that we're human, he has a few more tricks up his sleeve to utilize your items, such as the bow and arrow and things like that. Obnoxious little son of a gun. Good news though, I just remembered. We should be getting, if we hurry up. We should be get, I'm already lost. Oh, yeah, there's that lantern trick I was telling you about the first time we were here. In order to find him, go to a cave entrance and look for a glow. Uh, this is why you want it to be night, so you can see where he is. Alright, he's here. He's here, I sense him. Let's get rid of the bombs. Yeah. 
Get out of here. Oh, you were right behind the tree. I thought you were a, um, I actually thought he was just another puppet. He actually surprised me. Didn't expect to get him that fast. Oh, well, that was nice. Uh, maybe in one reason I'm so happy is that the next temple we're doing is my favorite temple in the game. No joke. No joke. My favorite temple. Yay! It's coming last. Okay, you can outrun these guys, but... Uh, I mean, they can keep it up. Stay out of here. Alright, um, listening for a horn. No, it's not here because the light's down here. When the light stops coming, there he is. Stay out of here. Why cross when you can just shoot? Actually, wait, I can't cross that, so, huh. Wow, I'm making a lot of progress. Maybe I should stop hurrying up. Okay, where is that? Oh, that's over there. Oh, that's nice. Puppet. Alright, uh, yeah, the next tempo in the game is my favorite. And we have a very good friend of mine co-commentating. Actually, got a member of the Poochie Pals. I really should have said that, because that just gave it away. I fail. Ah, well, I'm not going to say who. Even though the other one was already here, but... Oh, is it, well, if you don't know the Poochie Pals well enough, then maybe maybe you would think Masai is a member of the Poochie Pals. Yeah, yeah. So, even though she's not... I, I don't know, I fail. You already know who it is, so I'm just going to say it. Uh, my good friend Darkfool99 will be co-commentating with me in the, uh, Temple of Time. Yes, member of the Poochie Pals, along with Stormy and I. Uh, let's get on top of this tree. Hello. Bye. I don't care about you guys, you can't get up here. Uh, I went the wrong way. I cannot sing this low. I can normally sing. I can sing. I really can. For those of you that were at GT's stream that one night and actually heard me. Okay, he's not here. Get out of here! I know you're here, Skull Kid. Show yourself. Oh. Perhaps we should go through here. This gigantic entrance might have something. Seriously. I'm not in the mood. All of you disappear. Why am I talking like this? Like it's so weird sometimes, I swear. You just have me going in circles, don't you? Ooh, torches. I'm tempted. I wonder if I should light them up. Ah. I think he might be in here. Yep, he's in here. I hear the trumpet your bow and arrow out. There he is. Fire! Oh! Right in the... What? Yeah, let's say foot and keep it PG for the kids. Ah, that had to hurt. Well, actually, it could legitimately, uh, legitimately have hit him in the foot. From the angle that the arrow hit him, I guess we're gonna say it hit him in the foot. Oh, look, a pose soul. This one gave me a real one heck of a time. Be sure to get this postal while you're doing this. Because if not, you're gonna forget about it. Fact. You know what? Nah, nah. I'll just remember it's here. I've been scarred for life by that postal. For the longest time in my first playthrough of this game, I had only 40... No, not 40. Only 59 pose, and I could not find the last one. Of course it was that one. Now I'm probably going backwards. Yep. I recognize the torches. Uh oh. Shoot, we are running out of time. We are running out of time. Ah. Okay, let's hurry up. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Very tempted to get that post hole, but I don't think I will. I can just come back for it. I mean, that's probably not a good idea, but still. God, please don't tell me I'm lost. I'm freaking lost. 
Are you? What? What? I'm at the beginning. What? Uh, I'm gonna cut till we find them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just not good. Found him. God, I've been through heck and back to find this kid. Didn't I shoot him down already? Yeah, I thought I hit him all those times. What the heck? Oh, he's over here. Time to fight. Yay. Repetitive battles are repetitive. Wow, that took two minutes to find him. Actually, two and a half, maybe. I don't know. Either way, let's step this up. This may go into a half part, not sure. Here, there, there may be random cutting. Anyway, uh, this is completely easy because you don't even have to fight them. You just gotta shoot them with your arrows. So, just keep them away and you're good. Fire! Come on. Let's make this take less than a minute. Please. Guys, if you don't do this fast enough, they will swamp you. Yeah, you're dead. Eat that, Skull Kid Boy. P pig Boy. Feed the pigs, Pig Boy. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee, that was fun. I'll tell you what, I'll let you go into a secret place. And there's our entrance to the entrance of the dungeon. Yay. And also, yay for not picking up any rupees. Cutscene? Perhaps? No, no, not a cutscene. Now you may be wondering, how do we get to this mysterious temple lightning? Well, it's very, very simple, my friends. First, you push down this block. Then you get a very funny sound that tells you you did something right, as many other, like, that sound in other Zelda games. There's the entrance right there, but a guardian is blocking it. So how do we get rid of the guardian? Get nah, wasting time. We get down here. We ow. <laughs> we ow. We ah. Uh. We. Ignore the golden bug. We get over here. To the master sword. Where it was once held. And we, surprisingly and probably stupidly, put the Master Sword back. Come on, Link, do it a little faster, please. <laughs> and hooray, the Temple of Time is open. But first, we gotta fight these guys. I completely forgot about them. Yeah, this is going into a half part, isn't it? So I really don't want to waste time here. Let's just get it on, people. Die, all of you. Come here, come here. You're the only one left now. There's three more of you. Oh, how fitting. Six dungeons, six more. Yay. Come here, you. Alright, you two. Get over here. You look friendly. Get over here. Die! Do not have time for this. And we instantly get a warp right back here so we never have to go through that forest crap again. So hooray for that. Sorry for random cutting. Now that we're back up here and the guardian's gone, let's enter the temple. <gasps> we're starting the temple in this part? No. We're getting our last golden bug. That's what we're doing. Surprisingly. Yes, this is the Temple of Time. But we'll get into exploring its main parts later. Like tomorrow, later. Anyway, golden bug, come here. Essentially, this is the same golden bug. But it's the female snail. So, yeah, all those years ago, the female snail used to exist here. Now, the male snail exists here. So, yeah, kind of confusing, but oh well. Yeah, that door basically takes you back in time. Anyway, teleporting to Castle Town. Yes, I probably ripped that off of many people. Anyway, out of here.
Snail, aren't you cute? Good old Snail, Snail, little Snail. Just once I'd like to take a bath in that slime. That is disgusting. You are disgusting. Anyway, all the bugs are safe. Everyone looks happy and has a partner. You worked hard. Your efforts will be passed down in the Night Kingdom. Blah, 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 blah. And she gives us the giant's wallet. We can now hold up to a thousand rupees. <laughs> Completely pointless for everything that we've done in this game, but still, it's nice to have.